Today, I'm going to review this weird little gyroscopic screwdriver by DeWalt. Okay. Feels nice. I was telling my daughter, who got this for me for Christmas, that I wished DeWalt would make a smaller battery so that they could make smaller tools for when I was doing assembly work. The big batteries that they got, let me show you one of them real quick. Something like this is great for doing construction work, but if you're holding a tool that has a battery like this on it all day, your hands get really tired or your arms get tired. And even the small one and two, I believe they're one and two, even these little batteries get tiring when you're working a long day. So I told her about when we were working at a cabinet shop, professional cabinet shop, that they got brand new tools and nobody wanted to use them because they were so damn tiring. They just kept using the smaller ones. This was in the 80s, so they were very different tools than these are now. Okay, so what you get in the box, anti-theft thing. Says that it complies with OSHA. And... We'll read all this stuff as we go. It just tells you that the rated voltage, which is 8 volts, is not the real volts. The nominal voltage is 7.2. Let me tell you what I found about these 8 volt batteries. I believe this is a perfect size for little tools for assembling cabinets and stuff. But unfortunately, it looks like this is discontinued. I went to find a new 8 volt battery and it was $100. This entire kit, I believe, was like $79 and it's $100 just for the battery. And they only had it at one place. Um, I went to DeWalt's website and all of the place listed did not have the battery. Yeah, see, that's nice. The smallest they had. All right, it does have a charge. Uh, it's pretty low. We'll charge this up and then test it. But back to the batteries. I did some research on it. I looked on Amazon and every single battery that they sold for this is a Chinese knockoff. And then I did some reading and found out that they discontinued the battery, but they did not discontinue this, which makes no sense. Maybe this is going to be discontinued soon. I hope not. Um, I haven't tried it out yet, obviously, but this is something I've been looking for. Something nice and small for doing hardware and stuff on cabinets where you don't have to be holding a big impact driver. Well, here's one right here. They're not that big, but this weighs two, three times what this does. And after a long day, you get really tired from that if you're doing a big job and doing a lot of hard work. Okay, let's get this charged up and we'll see how this gyroscopic stuff works. How this all started was I wanted to find a stapler by DeWalt, but they didn't have any, so I got this one by Milwaukee, and I told everybody I wished DeWalt made little batteries like this and smaller tools for doing cabinet assembly work. They do make a couple 12-volt tools, like uh, the atomic drivers. I believe they're atomic. Similar to this, they're a bit smaller though. And I have a 20 volt version that I haven't opened yet. I'm gonna do a review on that, but I would like something 
more this size, something tiny, and the 8 volt doesn't matter if they continued to make the batteries. Now I guess I'll have to get some Chinese batteries for it because I can leave the battery on the charger on my bench and you could work with something like this all day long. No buttons or anything for reverse and forward and stuff. It's gyroscopic. And again, we'll see how that works in a little bit. Okay, back to charging. Okay, all charged up and got a piece of wood here. We're going to test it out according to DeWalt's specs. And what are those? It says it can drive an inch and five eighths drywall screw, which this is here, which is kind of odd, but. I wouldn't use this for drywall, so I wonder if you have to Okay, that's as far as it goes in there. It takes a little getting used to, but you have to place or press this here and then you have to twist. So it doesn't really do the 5 8 inch drywall screw. This is, it says that you can do it in SPF, which is spruce, pine, fir. This is spruce, and spruce is the softest of them. This is Douglas fir. So, maybe halfway. I would never do this anyways, but... Okay. What I would use this for is pre-drilled holes in the sides of cabinets. So, let's try... Very good. Alright, let's try pre-drilling. Okay, this testing may seem a little awkward but that's not what I would use it for at all. Oh, well that was kind of pre-drilled. So it has a lot more torque on the pre-drilled hole, but I don't know if I was If I was twisting it right. All right, let me try another one. Okay. If you twist it harder, it works better. I have never used a gyroscopic driver before. Okay, we got basically all the way through, and again, I would never be using this like this. 
Okay, it takes a little bit of getting used to. The more that you torque it with your hand, the harder it drives it. Okay, that's pretty cool. And it has a constant readout as to the battery power. Yeah, I really like this tiny little battery and the tiny little tool like that, but apparently this one and there's one that has a handle that turns down so it can be used like a pistol grip. Apparently those are the only 8 volt tools that DeWalt makes now. And I'm sure that they're going to be discontinued soon. Oh, what is this? Hmm, it's a lock out. Oh, I guess that's for uh, using it by hand so that you don't press it while you're holding it. Yeah, that has to be it. I would put a little magnetic holder on this. All right, we got it locked out. Which is also good if you were using this for adjusting hardware and stuff. You could lock it out just to do that really quick. All right. Yeah, I really like that. And once I get used to it, I'm sure that you could get really good with it. That's pretty nice. Wanted to show you this real quick. This is my biggest DeWalt battery. It's a 9 amp hour flex volt, 60 volts, well 20 volts slash 60 volts. And this one. This weighs, I don't know, maybe 5 pounds. Could be a little bit more than that. It's heavy. I use this on my DeWalt chainsaw and I plan on getting a chop saw that runs on batteries so I can work in the field without electricity. But again, look at the difference there. And if you open this up, this has two round or cylindrical batteries in it. And this one here has the same batteries in it, except it has three of them. And when you get into batteries like this, it probably has, well, it might have longer batteries and four of them in there. But this is a really good form factor for small tools. And I don't know why they would discontinue it. Well, hopefully they keep making this for a while, but this will probably last the rest of my life. The only problem is finding batteries. Hopefully China keeps making knockoffs because DeWalt doesn't make them anymore. All right, I quickly went through the instructions. Most of the instructions are for the bent handle version of it. And it basically shows you to do what I just did. Took a little while to find it out, but in the end I got there. So again, my overall impressions, I really like it. I will get good at it and hopefully it doesn't burn out on me and I won't be able to get another one because apparently they're not going to make these little batteries anymore. Yeah, that's too bad. So basically, this is just a powered screwdriver and it operates intelligently by how much you twist your arm and which way you twist your arm. So I'll be using this a lot on the channel, Trapdoor Woodworks, and I'll give you my impression over time as I get to use it more. I do believe I'm going to get really good with this, but time will tell before I forget. I'm going to be using this a lot on electrical stuff. So, just thought I'd bring this over here. 
Yeah, that's cool. And again, Yeah, you do have a lot of control with this. Just got to get used to the whole gesture, moving your hand, but that'll come pretty quick. Really slow. That is really cool. There's a lot of screws with this. If you have a whole room full of outlets and switch boxes, there's a bunch of screws. And I'm going to be doing work like that real shortly in the tiny house that I'm working on. So this is going to come in real handy for that. I also have a review coming up where I'm going to try cobbling together this hose, a hose right there, and this DeWalt separator right here, along with a vacuum, a two-part vacuum that I have elsewhere. It should be pretty interesting. I'm trying to get something that collects the majority of the dust from a chop saw like this because they make the biggest mess in your shop. So make sure you stop by to see that and we'll see you then. <laughs>